Hey everyone, I'm Kelly, educator with Kenner Professional, and today I'm going to be showing you how to transition a light blonde client into a dimensional low maintenance color using a reverse balayage technique. As you can see, this mannequin has a lot of previous highlights and a natural level six regrowth. My goal is to diffuse the regrowth into these previous highlights to create a lower maintenance color. I would also like to add some additional dimension throughout the mid lengths and ends that are solid blonde. To do so, I'm going to be doing a shadow root and low lighting technique called reverse balayage. Reverse balayage is a great way to transition clients from a summer blonde to a dimensional fall color. For the shadow root formulation, I'm going to be using one ounce of six natural ultra ash and two ounces of nine volume activator. 6NUA is one of my all-time favorite shadow rooting shades because it is the coolest natural color available in the Kenner color portfolio. This series is perfect to use for maintaining a true cool result on a darker level client starting from post application to fade out. For my low light formula, I'm going to be using half of an ounce of eight gold brown beige and half of an ounce of seven brown beige with two ounces of nine volume activator. I have incorporated 8GB into my formulation because the gold brown base will be perfect to slightly fill the level 10 blonde that I am depositing on. Adding 7B to this formulation will give a beautiful beige finish. The brown beige series and the gold brown beige series are some of my favorites for low lighting blondes. To prepare for this technique, I'm going to get my mannequin sectioned and ready for the color application. To keep things simple, clean, and time friendly, I am using four large quadrants. Off of my client's natural part, I'm going to create a line from the highest point of the head to directly behind the ear. I'm going to repeat this same section on the opposite side of the head. In the back of the head, I'm going to split this large subsection into two equal subsections. From the highest point of the head, down to the nape. I have chosen to use demi-permanent color for this application because my client likes to change her hair with the seasons and demi-permanent is super gentle on her previous lightened hair. If my client had gray to cover or wanted a longer lasting color, I could definitely use permanent color for this application. To begin this transformation, I'm first going to start with my shadow root. I have applied a foil with two small metal duckbill clips on the front two subsections. So when I start taking my subsections from my back two quadrants up and over during my shadow root application, the color does not bleed onto the front two quadrants. Starting in the top of the back right quadrant, I'm going to begin applying my six NUA, taking about quarter of an inch diagonal partings as I start to apply the shadow root. As I'm applying this, I want to just barely drag it past that line of demarcation to blur out any lines from the previous highlights. It's important to make sure you're saturating the top and the bottom of each subsection. It's also really important to not have too much product on your brush to make sure this application is super clean. To make sure there are no harsh lines in the shadow root, I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and drag this color down slightly. Now I'm going to repeat this same process on the other three quadrants. And now for the low lights. I'm once again starting in the back right quadrant, but before I get started, I'm going to give a generous mist of the porosity equalizing spray. This will help even out the porosity of the hair as well as assure an even absorption of color. I really wanna make sure I'm focusing this on the mid lengths and ends where the hair tends to be more porous. For my low lights, I'm going to be using back to back thin diagonal slices. Pro tip when low lighting on a bright blonde, Use thin slices instead of weaves. Weaves are used to diffuse color throughout the hair and when this is done on blondes, it can actually make the hair look darker than desired. Slices are a great option because they are bolder pops of color and will actually help make the blonde look brighter by giving the eye something to compare the color to. I want these slices to be thin enough that I can see my glove through the hair.
Now I'm taking my low light formulation and I'm going to saturate from just below the shadow root down. And then once I have a little bit of product left on my brush, I'm going to diffuse the line between my shadow root and my low light for a seamless blend. Now I'm going to apply one more thin slice directly underneath that foil. Still wanting to be able to see my glove through that subsection. Now I'm going to do the same foil pattern on the other three quadrants. Now that all the color has been applied, I'm going to process this for 25 minutes. I'm going to reach for my porosity equalizing spray to prep the hair for my toner, really making sure again that I focus this on those mid lengths and ends. This is going to help give an even distribution of my toner. To finish this service, I'm going to tone the previous lightened hair. Today I will be using one ounce of beige rapid toner and two ounces of nine volume activator. This is going to give the perfect beige result that will complement my shadow root and low light. For my toner application, I'm focusing on the roots to mid shafts first, and then I'll apply the color to the ends last because they are more porous and will accept the color a lot quicker. I'm going to let the toner process for a full five minutes and I'll be back with the result. And here's the final result of my reverse balayage service. I love how I was able to take super blonde hair and transition it to a low maintenance dimensional style. Thanks so much for joining me today as I created this look. Be sure to try this reverse balayage technique on your clients.